Is it just me, or does Sosuke Eisen from Bleach really needs to come back? Because, oh my gosh, we really haven't been able to see him lately at all in the manga. And um, from this war, as we've seen between the Quincy's and the Shinigamis, the Shinigamis are getting their asses kicked. Um, the captains are getting, they're going down like one after another. Like a, boom, 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 like that. And there is nobody who could really stand a chance against you watch again, except for Ichigo in his Bankai state. But then again, we don't know how strong is Ichigo in his Bankai. And Aizen apparently has gotten a lot stronger since the time skip. Like, he, he significantly actually has gotten a lot better because he was able to destroy, like, parts of the Soul King's, you know little parasites with HODL 90 and I'm out of all the Ketos that I've seen HODL 90 has done the most damage like it's it's by far the best HODL technique that I've seen and he's the only one who's able to do it Hodokin or something like that Hodokin <laughs> but um seriously guys we need Solsky Eisen back he's the only person who could change the tide of this war and uh, besides Ichigo, but we had, I don't even know where he is, but Aizen's just, he, uh, Koyoku is going to, like, he's struggling right now against the Zero Division. I thought he actually had a chance, but by the end of that chapter, 647, um, he does stand a chance because he's going Bankai. Imagine having a dual-wielded Bankai. We all met, like, it's the first time ever we've seen someone with a, two Zompok toes going Bankai and that's Koyaku and we already knew he had a Bankai it wasn't even surprising at all um, then again getting two Zompok toes is actually meaning you're better you're more trained than having one Zompok toe so um, I'll be surprised because what he says it's a sacrifice it's a sacrifice Bankai so what he's gonna he instantly kills his opponents leading his sacrifice to himself. I don't see how that Bankai works. I've never seen a self-destruction Bankai. So, if that's what his Bankai pretty much is, that's kind of hard. I mean, yeah, who knows? We'll, we'll see in the latest chapter of Bleach, which is coming out hopefully tomorrow. Wednesday, today is Wednesday. <laughs> well, to, it's our, but it's like nighttime outside. But still, we need Aizen because he could really take down these stern lighters like it's a piece of cake. Uh, Grimjow is getting his ass kicked by a freaking stern lighter because he got poisoned for being a little dummy. Uh, knowing Grimjow, he always goes brute force. But I wanted to see a, reun uh, a reunite between Grimjow, that one uh, um, Espada, and the scientist guy, and also uh, Aizen. But I, I, I'm gonna start assuming that there's gonna be more Espadas popping out. I bet you that Gini, Chimaru, and Tozen are not dead. I don't know. It just feels like they're still alive. Uh, they're probably like in another dimension. And so I really hope Gini, Chimaru, and Tozen are alive too. And so is Ukiora because Ukiora should be in another dimension as well. Um, this, these guys would really change the tides of the war. I don't really care about the rest. Stark has some pretty cool powers, but um, I just don't really care about the rest of the spotters. I mean, Holly Bell, she's fine as hell, uh, but <laughs> yeah. Aizen is going to be the main key to winning this war. Like, he could easily take down these stern lighters and go up against you, watch, and just like manhandle him. But then again, you watch the Almighty. <laughs> oh, man, everyone just calls him. The Almighty. I'm, me and my cousin, we just make fun of it and just say, The Almighty Dick. Because <laughs> he just looks like the Almighty Dick. Like, he just, he's so much like Jesus, man. Like, in every way. Like, I'm literally talking about our Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Because you know how the Savior, the Almighty, like, every you just touch, you watch, he'll heal you. <laughs> um, so, this guy, Aizen, could probably do... I mean, he's got the Hogioku. If that's what you watch is kind of after, that's the reason why he needs him on his side. Um, that's going to be crazy. 
So drop me a like if you haven't subscribed. This let me know what you guys think though. Do you think Aizen really needs to come back to this war? Because imagine having two villains, main villains actually, going up against each other. Because that's actually what makes things really good. Uh, this is JJD Uchiha, and have a nice day. Kyoka Sugetsu through his eyes. Dude, uh, Aizen could do that. I'm telling you. He still got his Shikai on him. He became one with a Zanpakuto with a Bankai coming at you.